In this video, I propose you to learn more about the Unifas LDAP driver. To do it, we will follow three chapters. First one, how works LDAP. How I have to map LDAP organization into Unifas entities. And then uh, some example on how accessing the LDAP data through Unifas code for both client server and web applications. So what is the meaning of uh, LDAP? LDAP means Light Directory Access Protocol. We can consider that in an LDAP it's standard, without standard, meaning that it's mainly used to define people in, in, in company, but the organization itself can be defined in several ways and you need to know how it has been defined in the organization in order to be able to map uh, into Uniface entities. It's a standard because there are some objects that are predefined such as organization, unit, person and so on. So let's go to a Uniface applica uh, an LDAP application. We are connecting to an LDAP. In this LDAP, we have, for example, an organization whose name is Compuware. This is one way to define. There is one another, one another, which is given in the LDAP as being an example, and the root will be example and com. So, which nothing is wrong, is the way you want to define your setting. And then here, some user who belongs to uh, either user administrator or super user. We are going to use the Compuware organization. In this organization, in the tree, you find three levels. One is the user whose name is admin. It will be used as a hidden user to check all the other one uh, really belonging to the organization. So. We define employee, for example, uh, an organization unit employee with several names, Cartigny, Dalibor, Lengat, Martin, Pichon. Each people, each person in the organization get the following attributes. Some object class predefined in the LDAP, in any LDAP, plus a common name Dali, a short name, Dalibor, and some attributes that are not in bold, uh, such as the mail, the user ID, and the password. One thing it is very important to understand it is the distinguished name or DN. DN allows you to identify uniquely one leaf in the tree. All the person defined in the organization unit get the same attributes. Here in this example, it's myself, I get exactly the same class, a common name, a short name, and so on. So you need to know what are the attributes map before going to Uniface into the model and define the organization and the attributes belonging to one entities. If I'm going back to the PowerPoint, and now that you know how my organization is mapped, I can go to Uniface, define a model whose name will be LDAP, inside this model define an entity, for example person, and inside the entity I will move the attributes such as mail, for example, the user ID, the common name, the user password, the short name, but also one attribute about object class. This attribute will allow us to uh, enhance performance when I'm going to retrieve some object from the LDAP. About the organization, I have, if you remember, some 
class belonging to the LDAP, but also the common name, Uniface FTS, members belonging to Uniface FTS, for example, Cartigny, Dalibor. And I have to map this attribute into my model as being the common name and member. I just have to put one attribute member and Uniface will uh, give me an array of member when I'm going to retrieve the people in this organizational unit. And always the attribute object class in order to save time when I'm going to retrieve the data. So, some vocabularies about the LDAP. What is the DN? DN means distinguished name. It's all the piece of the tree that allow me to identify uniquely uh, a leaf in the tree. In this example, I show you, it was short name Dalibor, uh, organization unit employee, organization computer. The way we build the distinguished name with Uniface is it's in two parts. It will be the church cop and the entity keys, because each entity in a model need to get a key. Example, in my entity person inside of LDAP model, I have to say, for example, that the short name will be the, the key. Like that, I can rebuild uh, connection between Uniface and LDAP. In that way, for example, I say open the IP address, the port number, and then the short scope is compound of you employee or computer. The user will the user ID needed to, to validate it will be the short name. And then the user password. And we can see if you put an IO print equal to 63 that the LDAP is bind to local host using distinguished name, Cartini, employee and computer. The LDAP is mainly used for two main goals. One is to check the identity of a person connecting to an application and the other one is to check the authorization because as we can see we can define people with various organization and we can consider that we can uh, authorize uh, people from FTS to administrate something, people from sales just to read data and so on but it's uh, after up to you to define that into your uh, held app. Held app can be used for both client server and web application. There's two ways to map the distinguished name, either in the ASN or in the code. We just view how to map it in the code, but we can also do it into the ASN file. So let us go to the ASN. In this ASN, you can see, for example, that the driver settings are LDP U1.0, in my case, and then I have to map the path dollar LDP equal LDP and then in the entities I said all the entity in the model are mapped like that except person who can be also mapped as being entity person at UU employee UU computer. This is two ways to give the short scope. One here and the previous one viewed in the code.